All right, we're going to end the night doing a Ouija board. Um, I don't do these too often anymore, but I, I feel like... Yeah, so let's talk about Ouija boards for a moment. Um, don't do them. There's a reason why he uh, rarely does them anymore. But I say do not do them because the Ouija board requires your participation with the board, with the planchette. The spirit then uses your hands like gloves to move the planchette. Otherwise, it would not need you. It could just move by itself, right? It's right up there with seance. It's right up there with, or a seance. It's right up there with the Estes method, which uh, we might go over what the Estes method is soon. It's really freaky. But, uh, or the original Charlie Charlie, where it requires the participation of the person. Once you cross that threshold into having to participate for the, de for the usually demon, to work with you, yeah, you, uh, it's an invitation at that point. Is there anybody here right now? Please, can you make yourself known to me? Feel the energy coming from the board. Is there somebody here with us right now? I think you know that answer by now. So think about this. This entire time that he is feeling this pull back and forth between these letters, the demon is wearing his hands the entire time. What did you tell me? What'd you tell me? I don't understand. Now pay attention to what starts happening next because at this point it starts emitting um, emotions, which is um, one of a few ways that a spirit can manifest. And this goes for any spirit. This goes for um, dead people. This goes for demons. This goes for angels, uh, celestials, does not matter. sense of loss. Baby, oh, baby. Oh, don't cry. So yeah, it just starts hitting him. It tells him no, as in no, it's not a joke, and then he just starts getting hit with this wave of sadness. And in a moment, like he, he's not reflecting on it right now because he's like just in these emotions. These emotions are not his. Him crying right now, these aren't, like, whatever's being pushed on him, it's not him that, uh, it's, it's something, it, it's giving him this emotion. I don't know why. This I'm just feeling. I've never experienced this before. It's just like a humongous sense of loss. What, like spiritually, like paranormal? Oh, babes. <laughs> oh, honey, let me get, let me get you a tissue. Oh, don't, don't cry. Do you want a tissue? Just give me a second. I don't know what, what's come over me. Oh, God. Let me just turn this on a sec. That's just a bit of normality for a sec. I don't know. I was doing this stupid plan chat. I just... I don't know. I feel. I feel like someone's died. I don't know. It's. Uh, yeah, I need a tissue. Hang on. Let me grab your tissue. 
No, I'll be alright. Just look, it's closed. It's fucking closed, man. Stop. Just fucking stop already. I don't know what you're going through, man, but if you're going through this, fuck me, man. Oh, that was not fun. Oh, just give me a camera. I, I can't, I don't know how to explain that. I was playing and I just felt like somebody had fucking died, man. I don't want to do this. I, I don't want to play this anymore. You win. Fuck it. You win. Hey, it's a demon, of course, it's going to win. You're playing 20 questions with it. <laughs> You're not going to win 20 questions with a demon. That he should be lucky that it didn't drive him to suicide. Honestly, like it could have done that. It was probably trying to. Uh, demons are destructive. No, I'll be alright. Alright, go back! Ugh, fuck, I didn't even close it properly. <laughs> Fucking goodbye, man. Just goodbye. You win. I don't want any anything to do with whatever that is. That's too much for me. I've never felt sadder in my entire fucking life. <laughs> fuck that. Let's call it for a minute. Just fucking fuck this, man. Alright, guys. Um, I'm deciding to call it. That is upsetting as hell to me. Whatever the hell just happened. I'm still recovering, actually. I'm calling it for the night. We've had so much. It's just popped off the whole night. And um, that Ouija board set me over the edge. I need to find out what happened here in 1993. I just have to. I hope you enjoyed everything, though. Um, guys, look, I'm going to recover. It is, what, it's probably about 1 in the morning now. Yeah, so whatever did happen in 1993, it has nothing to do with the demon, but maybe something that happened to him as a child. Um, it could be a number of things, but it's not worth getting answers from a demon. It's just not. It's going to end in tragedy. It's going to end in destruction. Yeah, Don, in my uh, childhood bedroom, I had something try to attack me. It, um, I didn't have a sleep paralysis um, experience, but I was nearing one. There was an entity that was uh, floating towards me. This is according to my wife, who had accidentally astral projected to me. Very long stories. This is back when she, w um, before uh, she was a Christian, and she had these weird uh, experiences where she would kind of blink in to different places in her sleep. Yeah, she would. Yeah, so that for for a very long time, um, she believed they were just dreams. She would go to sleep and uh, she would wake up in these places, thinking that it was just a dream, not knowing that uh, she was leaving her body and actually going to those places. Anyway. Uh, she did that with me once when we first got together. Um, and I had woken up thinking that this very, very strong feeling that my wife was next to me, but she was not, which scared me because I feel like something was next to me, but my brain was still uh, confused. She inadvertently protected me from the entity that was in my closet that was floating towards me. Freaky experience. I never had anything like that again. It was just once. I used to live for those experiences. I do not anymore. I, I don't wish it on anybody. Multi-dimensional realms. For sure. 100%. This gentleman here, uh, let's keep him in our prayers because the only, the only way out is going to be up. The only way is up. And uh, this man here needs it. I've been subscribed to him for a while too. Demon is not the same thing as a dead person. Demons are disembodied spirits of the Nephilim. Ghosts are disembodied spirits of humans. Not the same thing. Ghosts are not supposed to be able to put their hands on you and hurt you. And now they can. I believe they can get in your dreams. I do believe that dead people can get in your dreams. I had one experience like that. She never said a word to me. Never said a word to me. Um, but that 
those are the weird, creepy things that ghosts do. The disciples on the boat thinking that Jesus walking on water in the distance was, they thought he was a ghost. And they say that. They say, oh, it's a ghost. <laughs> and they're, trying, they're about to jump out the boat. And Jesus says, it's me. Don't be afraid. He doesn't say, hey, there's no ghosts. <laughs> he says, don't be afraid. It's just me. And yeah, it's demons for you. I would not. Uh, if you find yourself confronting a demon, keep it short and sweet, and don't give it uh, don't give it an opportunity to do what it's doing to him. That's sleep paralysis for you, and so you couldn't see it, but you could definitely feel it. I would call that a demon, um, Julia. Yes. When it comes to sleep paralysis. And the thing that's on your chest, yeah, that that's a demonic encounter. Should be noted, though, that in the book of Job, um, there is a case of sleep paralysis. In fact, I, bet, I better pull that up. In Thoughts from the Visions of the Night, when deep sleep falleth on men. So, this is REM sleep. Fear came upon me, and trembling which made all my bones start to shake. And what does this sound like? Fear came upon me, and trembling, which made all my bones to shake. Then a spirit passed before my face. The hair of my flesh stood up. It stood still, but I could not discern the form thereof. An image was before mine eyes. There was silence, and I heard a voice saying, Shall mortal man be more, than, uh, more just than God? Now there's a conversation being had in this uh, episode of Sleep Paralysis. Shall a man be more pure than his maker? Behold, he put no trust in his servants, and his angels he charged with folly. How much less in them that dwell in houses of clay, whose foundation is in the dust, which are crushed before the moth. They are destroyed from morning to evening. They perish forever without any regarding it. They die even without wisdom. Right here, this is an angel looking over Job, and he's just pondering this human. He just kind of dove down, just looking at Job, just appreciating Job, thinking out loud in front of Job. Fear came upon me trembling, which made all my bones to shake. Isn't that interesting? This was not a demon right here. This was an angel. I cannot say every single time sleep paralysis is demonic, um, but I will say it is spiritual. When it happens to you, pray on it. This is why testing the spirits is important. This is why we can't call everything demonic all the time. 